so we see a lot of like it's cold one day, warm the next day, but tomorrow's big day is Groundhog Day, which we'll find out if we're expecting more yeah, winter. Everybody's waiting to see if that groundhog is going to see his shadow, but you actually went to the zoo to find out kind of what it's going to mean here, right? Yes, we don't have groundhogs here, yeah. but we do have meerkats, but I was able to get a prediction from an actual scientist, a meteorologist, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Hey guys, I'm here outside at the El Paso Zoo with our very own Penskatani Phil, Jason Laney from the National Weather Service. Now he's here to help us tell whether we're going to be seeing a longer winter or not. What do you think? Well, it's a tough call, you know. I forecast using computer models, science, satellites, radars. That guy forecasts in Pennsylvania just using his shadow. But our climate forecast models say late February through mid-March, cooler than normal. That's six weeks from now, six weeks more of winter. When spring does come along, what, what should we expect for this spring of 2019? Well, that's part of what I do with the National Weather Service is take a look at these long-range forecasts to help our emergency managers, people, our community plan. And it's looking like, believe it or not, spring, while it's normally dry and very windy, still going to be windy. That always happens around here in the spring. But right now, all indications are we're going to see a little more moisture this spring. We live in a desert, so moisture's not bad. So I wouldn't put away the raincoats and umbrellas just yet either. You guys heard it first here. We're going to be seeing some rain for this spring. And although we don't have groundhogs here in El Paso, we do have our very own little dirt critters called the meerkats. You can see on right behind me. They're definitely enjoying the sun as of right now. So you can see that Everyone's pretty much excited for spring, at least this year around. And just like groundhogs burrowing, burrowing into the ground to hibernate, meerkats burrow to protect themselves from the sun. If you do want to go ahead and take a look at them, you can always visit the zoo during their normal hours. So we're expecting more winter than yes. a scientific prediction. Yes, more winter, <laughs> and then when spring comes, a, a, a pretty, lot of rain. A lot of a rain. rain, yes, okay. so a lot of moisture in the area. All right, sounds good. And speaking of the zoo, you can check out a new addition to the El Paso Zoo. Oh. Take a look at this little baby. This is Deja. She's a five-month-old Siomung. She comes to El Paso from the Pittsburgh Zoo. Now, Deja will be fostered by the zoo staff, as you can see them there caring for her. Then she'll be introduced to the two other female Siomungs at the zoo. Zoo guests will be able to see Deja during limited scheduled times. Look at oh. her. She's so tiny. She's so adorable. Can we just play that video for the rest of the show? <laughs> well, why you're